Hello and welcome to Utechbia. My name is David and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to migrate my WordPress website from HostGator to Google Cloud Platform. And why do I want to do this? Well, I basically pay $20 a month to host it on HostGator and it actually isn't very fast. It's a little bit sluggish. Now, when I move it to Google Cloud Platform, it's gonna be free monthly, there's no cost, and it's on Google server, so it's gonna be super fast. If you also wanna host your WordPress website on Google Cloud Platform for free as well, then click down below. I have a playlist that shows you step-by-step -step how to set up your free Google Cloud Platform WordPress website. But in this video, I'm gonna focus on how to migrate my WordPress website from HostGator all the way to my free website on Google Cloud Platform, also a WordPress website. And there's two reasons why someone would want to do this. The first reason is obviously because I wanna move away from HostGator from paying $20 a month for slow service to Google Cloud Platform, which is faster and it's free. A second reason is every time you migrate to a new platform, you also upgrade a lot of the backend software components that make your website more secure and run faster as well. So without further ado, we're gonna use this guide. And this guide explains it really well. And there's really only two steps. The first step is we're gonna export our old WordPress website into a file. And then the second step is we're gonna import that file so all of our content is on our new website. That's all there is to it. And the software we're gonna use is the all-in-one WordPress migration tool. And that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and start by installing the all-in-one WordPress migration tool. So I'm gonna go to my website just so that you guys can see it. It's utechbia.com. Right now it's hosted on HostGator and I'm paying $20 a month for it. And the performance is okay. If I check out GT metrics right now and go to utechbia.com. Remember right now it's hosted on HostGator. So let's see how it performs. So that's not too good. I got a C score, 1.8 seconds to load. Eh, yeah, we can do better than this. So I'm gonna jump over to Google Cloud Platform and really quickly set up my free hosting on Google Cloud Platform. I'm gonna go super fast. So if you wanna go step by step, again, the playlist down below shows you step by step how to do this, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my free website using Google Cloud Platform. I'm gonna go really fast because I've done this a ton of times for years. But if you want step-by-step -step instruction, link down below for a playlist on how to do it step-by-step. -step. Anyway, the first thing to do is go to cloud.google.com. And we are going to go ahead and sign into my Gmail account. So once I sign into my Gmail account, let's go ahead and go to console. All right, so I'm gonna agree to the terms and click agree and continue. And there's $300 free credit. Definitely take advantage of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate my $300 of credit for free. So let me go through these instructions, continue, fill out all my information and start my free trial. Okay, sweet. So we're all ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to project. Let's go ahead and create a new project. We're gonna call it Utechbia and click create. Okay, so now I have my first project. I'm gonna go over here and select my project just so that everything is organized. Go to Marketplace and search for Bitnami WordPress. And we're gonna use WordPress certified Bitnami and automatic. And we are going to launch. And again, I'm going really fast, but if you wanna watch the step-by-step -step instructions, down the playlist goes over all the details and why you click on each step. But anyway, we're deploying our website right now on Google Cloud Platform, and it's gonna be free because we're taking advantage of the free tier, which is plenty good for a majority of the websites out there. And if you have a lot of traffic or you have a high intense application on your website, then probably GCP is not the solution for you. And for my website, which is a basic blog and affiliate website, plenty fine for Google Cloud Platform. I've been using Google Cloud Platform for years and paid literally nothing for my web hosting. So even though after the $300 credit expires, it's still free because I'm under the free tier and there's no real reason for me to go above the free tier. And the free tier offered by Google Cloud Platform is very generous. Just think of Gmail, but for web hosting. You never run out of space on Gmail, right? So with web hosting, unless you're doing some crazy stuff, you should be able to stay under the free tier at most, I'm paying a few pennies a month for web hosting. And I've been using it on many of my websites for years and it costs me nothing and it's fast. The only reason why Utechbia is on HostGator is because I started Utechbia many, many years ago before I knew about Google Cloud Platform. 
Anyway, here we are. Let's go ahead and call this one. Let's call this Utopia. And we're going to put this on US Central C. We're going to use a micro and we're going to use a standard persistent disk and we're going to make it a 30 gigabyte hard drive. Keep all these defaults and accept the terms of agreement and we're going to click deploy. Again, I'm going very fast. If you want step-by-step -step instruction, click down the link below and I'll show you step-by-step -step how to get your free website on Google Cloud Platform. It's really good. It's really good. Anyway, it's running now, it's being deployed. So give it a few minutes and that's it. My free WordPress website and Google Cloud Platform is ready to go. Copy the password and click right here to launch the website. It's gonna redirect me to the website and there we go. Hello world, that's my WordPress website and it's published today and everything looks great. And if we want to go to the back end, we can do slash wp-admin. And our username is actually user and our password is what's on my clipboard right now. Just like over here, our username is user and our password is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and log in with that information. And you see, we have a fully functional WordPress website hosted on Google Cloud Platform for free. And if you go to the plugins, we're gonna make sure we have the plugin and look at that, the plugin's already installed, all in one WordPress migration. We're just gonna activate it here because this is the same tool we're gonna use on both the old WordPress website and the new WordPress website to transfer all the information over so that we can migrate Utopia from HostGator to Google Cloud Platform so that it's faster and it's free. How, how can you be free? Anyway, so the tools installed here. So now let's jump back over to my current WordPress website and install the same tool so we can extract the WordPress website and move it over here. So at utopia.com slash WP admin, we're going to go into my current website and we're going to go to plugins and we're going to add a plugin and we're going to make sure we have the all in one WP migration plugin. And that's, and this is the one right here. So let's go ahead and install now. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and activate it. Awesome. It's activated and ready to go. So let's go ahead and go to the all in one WordPress and we're basically just going to export our website. It's as simple as that. So here's the export. So we're going to export to a file and that's it. It's exporting to a file right now. It's so going to let it run and export to a file. Sweet. So all I need to do now is click right here to download the file. So then I can go ahead and upload this file onto my new website hosted on Google Cloud Platform for free. So the free version of the all-in-one WP migration tool will allow you to export as big of a backup file as you need. So now, Let's hop over to our new website. So now we're back to the new website that's hosted on Google Cloud Platform for free. And we can tell because you see, it's not utechbear.com because we haven't configured that part yet. Here, we already activated the all-in-one WP migration because remember, when we deployed the website, it was already pre-installed. We just needed to activate it. So now that it's activated, you can go over here and you can see it's installed. And you want to import, remember, because we exported from our old website. Now we're just gonna import and we go to import from, we choose file. So we're gonna select the file that we just exported from our old website. Bummer! The free version of all-in-one WP migration limits us to only 40 megabytes. If your website is more than 40 megabytes, which most websites are, you're gonna need the unlimited version. Click down below to get access to the unlimited version. Oops, so now we're gonna install the unlimited version. So let's go ahead and go to plugins. So let's go ahead and deactivate this plugin. And we're going to delete it. So, bye-bye all-in-one WordPress migration tool. And we are going to add a new one and we're gonna upload it. Remember the link is down below in the description to get this one. So we're gonna choose file and we're gonna upload the unlimited version of the plugin and we're going to install now. And once it's done installing, we're just gonna click activate. And that's it, the new plugin is activated there it is, all-in-one WP migration. This is the unlimited version. So make sure you go to import right here. So this is where we import and we can import from a file, which is the file that we exported earlier from our website. And it looks like it's working. We're importing our website. 
So we're gonna get this message. It says import process will overwrite the current website, which is our brand new website, which has nothing in there. Anyway, so don't worry about that. We need to proceed because basically, we are going to take our old website on HostGator and we're gonna put all of that content onto our new website, which we just deployed on Google Cloud Platform. So we're just gonna proceed because the new website is empty. Anyway, there's nothing on there to worry about overriding. So let's proceed. Now we just let the all-in-one WP migration tool do all the hard work. Before we know it, our website will be migrated over to our brand new website, which is hosted on Google Cloud Platform using Google's fast servers. And under the free tier, the hosting will be free. What more can you ask for? Your data has been imported successfully. Sweet. Here's the weird part. We must save our permalink structure twice. Okay, two times. So let's go ahead and go over here to our permalink structure. So database update required. Let's go ahead and update our WordPress database. All right, update is complete. Click continue. And over here, remember, this is our new website, but because we already exported everything from the old website to our new website, our login and username is the one from the old website. Remember that. So this is my Utopia password here. And I log in and ta-da! So remember the reason why we're here is we need to change our permalink setting and save it twice. And if you don't know what yours was, you can always go to your old website, go to settings and permalinks and see what it was. Mine was post name, so I'm gonna use post names for this new one too. So I'm gonna click post name and I'm gonna go down here and click save changes. There we go, I've done it once, and now I'm gonna go do it again. Make sure I click on post name. Sometimes you can click on something else and click back to it just to make sure. And go down here to save changes. Click on save changes. And there we go, now we've done it twice and our website should be good. So if I go ahead and click right here, visit site. And let's see if it takes us to Utopia. Ta-da! We have our new website on Google Cloud Platform, hosted on Google server, and if we stay under the free tier, which is a very generous tier, our website is gonna be hosted on Google servers for free. Yes, and it's that simple. Now, of course, there's a couple other things we need to do. Number one, we need to change this IP address to utopia.com. So basically, that includes making the IP address a static IP address and mapping our domain name, utopia.com, to this new website. And you notice, the website says not secured, but that's really easy to fix. There's an HTTPS security encryption certification tool that you can run. It's pretty much just one command you run and it creates a certificate, makes your website secure and very safe. And now that our website is on Google servers, let's see how fast it is. Let's click on developers resource. And ta-da, there it is, it's already loaded. All the pictures are there. Everything looks good, sweet. And let's go check out my best vlogging camera guide. I need to update this because this is 2020 and we got some new guys coming out. Yes, everything looks good. Our website is pretty much migrated over. Now there's a few things we need to do still, right? We obviously need to change the domain name here to point to utopia.com. We also need to make their website secure and we also need to remove this Bitnami logo. All that easy to do. I got the step-by-step -step guide down below in the description. Click on those videos. They will help you step-by-step -step how to get your free website hosted on Google Cloud Platform for free. And that's all there is to it. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to Utopia. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are healthy. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.